all the invitees and guests of the today's valid entry function. Last two, three days successfully conducted by GRCRD this workshop. Today's chief guest is our Professor Venkayagaru, former Vice Chancellor, Krishna University, Andhra Pradesh, and former rector of this prestigious Open University. We welcome you, sir, once again. Thank you very much for your participation and all the way you are guiding to our young and budding research scholars and teachers. Thank you very much once again, and I welcome you once again, sir. And also, I welcome our uh, GRCRD director, Professor E. Sudhar Arigaru, and uh, workshop director. Once again, I welcome you, madam, and uh, congratulations for uh, organizing this workshop for uh, benefit of the research scholars across the Telugu states, particularly. Now, I request uh, madam Kanka Durga Garu kindly present a formal bouquet to our uh, today's guests. And also, I request you, Kankadar Garu, kindly present a book to our Sudharani Garu. She is hesitating, but even uh, you are organized uh, successfully this three days workshop, madam. Kindly accept. Uh. In this workshop, uh, deans, directors, and heads, some heads of the branches, uh, as well faculty members and research scholars are present, sir. And also, many of the people and the research scholars are joined through online, uh, sir. They are also watching and they are also eagerly waiting for your uh, valuable uh, lecture. Now I request to Professor Sudharani Garu kindly accept as the president of today's function and uh, conduct further proceedings, madam. Thank you. Warm welcome address at the fag end of the day, respected uh, chief guest of uh, today's function, Professor of Management and uh, former rector and former vice chancellor of Krishna University. Uh, with, uh, under whose uh, leadership I got an opportunity to serve as a Senate member also. Sir is very kind enough to be with us in all the academic NGOs uh, in, in the capacity of GRADE. He was a founder, uh, director of the GRADE, G. Ram Reddy uh, Center for Distance Education. Uh, this uh, in turn, in the last year only, uh, then it was renamed as G. Ram Reddy Center for research and development. So, sir laid the foundations for uh, all the kind of, you know, works, research foundation for distance education, and uh, he's been a nationally and internationally reputed scholar, and uh, very kind of you, sir, to accept our uh, invitation to be with us again, uh, to bless us and to give uh, motivation to all the young scholars here and uh, young faculty members of our in Ambedkar Open University. In this three days program uh, on academic research and research support, uh, this three day workshop uh, which started uh, on 16th May, uh, the welcome uh, address given by Venu, uh, Gopal Reddy, or PRO, and um, Professor K. Sitaram Rao, sir, our Vice Chancellor, Dr. PRO, President of this session, emphasized the uh, that research should lead to output and uh, um, research should be simple, implementable, and measurable. So with this words, uh, he uh, encouraged our young scholars to uh, pursue the research. And um, he also felt that, you know, this research is the only gray area where, you know, Ambedkar University uh, should focus, uh, the young faculty has immeasurable opportunities to pursue. The guest of honor, uh, Avian Reddy, um, also wished the participants a successful uh, journey of three days. Uh, Professor Ganta Chakrapani, sir, uh, the director of academic, guest of honor, uh, said that research output in the country is less than 1%, and this requires uh, scholars to pursue the research in their area of interest and help uh, the research progression. So. Uh, he felt that, you know, kind of uh, this workshop should uh, be more in uh, so that capacity building will be uh, nurtured and research ecosystem should be nurtured in the uh, universities and higher education institutions. Professor B. Sudhakar Reddy, Honorary Director, uh, SRC Southern Region Center, ICSSR, uh, he, he was the chief guest of the event. He explained about the various scholarships, fellowships, internships, and minor and major projects, and uh, 
the visit to the uh, foreign countries and you know assistance to the uh, uh, doctoral uh, uh, these, uh, students and assistance to the postdoctoral students so this uh, mm, he said that you know this time the government of india had come up with uh, several projects and uh, the funding is also very good and uh, he encouraged all the scholars to come up with proposals and uh, he encouraged the young scholars to uh, pursue the doctoral fellowships and those who have submitted to pursue the post doctoral fellowship as well and uh, he also motivated our uh, faculty members to uh, submit the proposals minor research pro proposals which can be taken by src and major can be sent to the delhi he encouraged uh, that you know uh, to work on the certain areas where you know uh, the such as uh, tribal uh, culture and tribal history and uh, uh, that got a special funding so he also said that you know they will provide with all the information necessary so that you can just fill in the forms and then submit readily he will sanction the uh, amount and uh, you know projects the first session after the inauguration uh, was uh, the, the resource person was Mridul Janil the faculty of social science Mumbai University who joined online he talked on the idea of research, the philosophy of research, and uh, he says uh, he said that you know a hypothesis should be drawn from the uh, what they know and uh, uh, it should stand the validity and the internal validity as well as the external validity. Uh, the afternoon session, uh, Professor Murugan from uh, Hyderabad Central University talked about the literature review. And he talked about the identification of the gaps of, in uh, different uh, research levels of research. He said that planning adequately will help in knowing the requirements uh, and uh, th uh, the literature review helps a lot in this regard. So he explained that the uh, meta-analysis um, of the thesis and essentially the review of literature uh, um, and the bibliography styles and he also mentioned about the APA style and MLA Chicago styles to be pursued by the scholars of different disciplines. And the fourth session uh, uh, resource person was Professor uh, I Loknath Reddy, again from University of Hyderabad. He talked about operationalizing research design issues and challenges. Uh, he talked about the uh, various facets of research design and uh, how the design should take care of all factors into account before actually uh, the collection of the data. The 17th morning, the day two, started with the session um, by me only because it was an interaction section. And uh, we interacted on sev uh, several uh, research ideas uh, by the scholars as well as this today's presentation was generated by yesterday's morning only sir i just gave one day time to them to come up with some idea so that you can present here in the valedictory session so that you know you can take along with that uh, you can work more on that idea and put it into as a proposal by our faculty members and the research scholars also uh, 18 19 batch they are almost at the verge of submission uh, they have completed three to four chapters. Some of them they have completed. And uh, 2021 batch uh, is uh, in the mid of their uh, presentations. So uh, some of them have uh, collected the literature and some uh, the samples, they're ready with the questionnaires. And uh, some, some of the scholars are ready with the two chapters or three chapters. So again, uh, you know, whatever little doubts they're expressing in between, I thought that you know they got the answers from uh, this three-day interactions with the resource scholars, uh, resource persons, because uh, they are highly uh, like uh, knowledgeable and they are working on the methodologies precisely. So readily they have uh, come to your rescue of you know clearing your doubts. I could see the happy faces in the audience also, while uh, the resource persons are clarifying their doubts. So. Uh, sixth uh, session started with uh, uh, Professor Ye Patrick. Uh, he talked about the publication of research paper. He started with the about why they are rejected. So what are the lacuna in that research and how to bridge that you know gaps. 
and uh, Professor uh, R. Shiva Prasad, sir, retired uh, professor of anthropology of a research problem. So he made distinction between the comparison and generalization and the importance of the uh, theoretical understanding of the subject. And he talked about the attributes of good research, importance of asking correct questions uh, through hypothesis and finding answers through the uh, research. Professor uh, Samrat Sabath, director R&D Cell, University of Hyderabad. Uh, he talked on writing academic research paper, citations, and journal matrix. So he talked about which is a very important uh, aspect uh, while publishing the paper, what are the things to be taken care, uh, plagiarism and uh, authorship, collaborations, access to journal, impact factors, and uh, um, he also suggested what are the journals, academic journals, and how to uh, publish a paper in that. And uh, the ninth session today is uh, by Rashekar again. He uh, discussed on data analysis using the software. He discussed uh, two important software, that is uh, um, the use of Excel sheets, SPSS, and um, he said that, you know, uh, he uh, tried his best to make you uh, uh, comfortable with the concepts and all, but uh, his opinion, opinion that uh, this kind of uh, uh, topic should be dealt in the laboratory, like, you know, uh, where hands-on experience is very much essential. So I agreed that, you know, next session will be completely on these two packages, SPSS and Excel. ERD Prasad, who is a consultant here, uh, he talked about the plagiarism as well as the digital resources and the um, websites and uh, several uh, search engines, how to find uh, the sources, uh, library sources also, online sources, and uh, for uh, a good um, a review of literature as well as uh, finding uh, e, e sources for uh, to be useful in writing the thesis. So this is precisely the three-day uh, workshop uh, output, sir. Uh, our uh, participants they are very highly enthusiastic and uh, were interacting with the resource persons in uh, every session. Just uh, you know, uh, 40 minutes was devoted for the presentation, and rest of the time was for interaction. And um, it was very lively, and uh, all the um, research scholars, they took time in here, and our faculty members also, um, by their presence, encouraged the scholars. Sir. We, Venkai Garu, uh, our chief guest of today's event, at the valedictory section of the three-day academic research and research support workshop, the first one conducted by GRCRD. Uh, please, sir. I deem it a great privilege and pleasure to be here, to share a few of my thoughts about academic research with you on this very great occasion and eventful workshop. I thank the Vice Chancellor and the authorities, and particularly Dr. Madam Professor Sudharani for inviting me with this honor of being with you for some time. It is a three days long workshop with nine sessions, with intermittent interactions. I'm a member of this family along with all of you. And I keep saying, when I retired from this university, I said, I'm a member of this family till my last breath and beyond. That is the kind of bread and butter given by this university to me. I am able to talk to you before you and at least a mediocre academic, I would say, recognized across the world. And it is because of the platform, Springboard. I don't use Springboard platform that BRWU has provided. I served this university for 30 years. From 1984, January till September and 2012. That was my period of stay, 29 years, nine months. 
and hence I claim that I am a member of this family. Academic research is called in question and con became controversial in the recent years, particularly after the regulatory and accreditation bodies accorded importance for publications to see good grade, to get accreditation, and to get good rank in the NIRF. They want good publications, more and more publications quantitatively and qualitatively. And in the process, the paid form of publications came into being. Off late, a few days ago, I received through social media about the kind of controversy and this very skeptical kind of note and a very hard kind of controversy and criticism laid down on academic research by imprint, by conducting a survey for a week. I have it with me. It is, its heading is Paper Mills Peer Review Rings. That is the heading. The quality of publications is called in question. But those which are qualitatively superior also are paid for. And hence the journals are making money by charging the publications. And people are paying because they want CAS in their cadres to move up for the points to be secured under research head. And also to secure good accreditation with high grades or five, three years or six years accreditation by NBA and getting good ranks in NIRF, which they say and state in explicit manner in all kinds of advertisements for securing more admission, charging more money, particularly by some universities. In this process, the research publications are called in question. There is a need to see that we revive and come out of this controversy and establish the credibility of research carried out by us in the universities. And uh, we must see that the quality of research publications by the teachers goes up again and re-establish our credibility. If they are not paper, I mean, paper mills, they are not with rings, they are not paid for, for research guidance or for research publications. This is the important aspect. For that, the research scholars, you and me, ought to publish quality papers, taking more time, spending more time, devoting our energies, using our creativity, being truthful to bring out the original standard research. This is what is required. All of us have to work hard. The first important aspect of quality research is originality. Second important aspect is creativity. Third important aspect is truthfulness. And our ability to do sound kind of research, quality research with sound research design. Sound, I use the word, very sound, scientific, scientific and well laid out research design process. And you must become very strong quantitatively, become very strong in using tools of analysis, statistical tools of analysis, and using technology for analyzing the Google Forms or using SurveyMonkey, whatever. What is important is that you must become strong in quantitative aspects of your research using tools. Your literature review must be exhaustive, up to date. You must be able to find out the gaps and you must, uh, you must address those gaps. Your research findings must provide pointers to the policy makers must provide guidance to the future researchers in your own area or branch of knowledge. That is how research is to be viewed. And uh, originality, truthfulness, creativity, these are important. And your comprehensive understanding of the research methodology 
and the strong base in the domain knowledge in your own subject area unless you fulfill these aspects we will not be able to do good research good research is possible only when we spend we need to have calendar integrity calendar integrity is if you are doing research for 3 years for your phd you must work religiously religiously spending more time you must devote all your time possible for your research you must optimize your time ask my optimize your resources must generate good research quality research not only that once you get your phd if you are in any organization be it a private university or a deemed to be university or a college or a open university whatever kind of institution or a state government or central university there will be a lot of demand on your research output lot of demand hereafter you cannot go up in the ladder you will not be respected unless you publish your research papers in quality journals the issn isbn days have gone ugc care is also very limited in scope if you go to nba for example or nirf ranking it is only abdc category star a category scopus google citations all these are asked so what is important is that you must be able to publish your quality research papers in highly reputed journals for that the peer review will be very rigorous very rigorous you must be able to i will tell you some of the universities are paying 5 lakh rupees for paper if they publish in a category of abdc 5 lakhs if a teacher publishes three papers in a year he will get 15 lakhs abdc a category is that and some universities some private universities i don't want to mention the names i know i don't want to mention the name see in some universities they say that scopus is also not considered scopus is only considered for your publication not for the institutional requirement only abdc not to a category this is how and unless a teacher publishes at least a paper a year because quantitative metrics have come for research publications quantitative metrics the average number of papers per teacher per year during the last 5 years that is the quantitative metric it means every teacher must produce one paper if he doesn't produce continuously for 2 years he will be asked to slowly go out of the job this is what is happening if continuously 2 years one cannot publish a good research paper they will not be continued in the job that is the kind of situation obtaining and hence some premier institutions introduce a three track system you know what research track teaching track and administration administration track <coughs> that is teachers will be divided into three groups those who are very strong and have good passion in research are given research task those who are very strong and very good in teaching are given more of te teaching those who have inclination for administration are given administrative task but teaching will be there mo moderately for administrators teaching will be there more for the teaching track and it will be blended both research and teaching for research track and moreover the new education national education policy 2020 emphasizes meru multidisciplinary research universities it means teaching universities will also be research universities there the emphasis is research here the emphasis is teaching significantly adequate research the second category so what is important is wherever you work even if it is a college they ought to go for as per ugc directive they ought to go for accreditation by nac and publications are important and you will be asked to publish research papers and your upward mobility in the in the 
cadre in your position is only possible with research in addition to your teaching for that you have to maintain manage your time well and time is the one resource which is equal to everyone some teachers say in an in, in any institution some teachers say we don't have time at all his colleague publishes four papers in abdc category every year he doesn't have time and both of them have the same kind of workload it means what it means what that we are not doing optimizing our time optimizing it. today i jotted down some points for a note for example we must realize the time is a unique resource time is a unique resource 24 hours time to everyone god has discriminated us in terms of other resources but not in terms of time everybody is given and endowed with the same time so it is the unique resource time is a finite resource time is a finite resource cannot be stored time flows relentlessly there is no valuable resource which is more wasted than time there is no valuable no other valuable resource which is wasted more than the time like the time no one has enough time but everyone has all the time everyone is equally endowed with time unlike all other resources this is to be remembered if anybody says i do not have time i am the last person to honorably disagree honorably disagree because every one of us have got adequate time we have to optimize use it all celebrities you think how many hours they sleep how they became celebrities how hard working they do time is same and uh, i would like to give pro research project management is not covered in the nine topics research project management so i have some tips for you i developed some tips morning i i was thinking what do i advise you maintain a task diary maintain a task diary do first things first be business like with others when you have research work pending don't entertain anybody be business like because time is very important i don't say time is money no doubt it may be but time is important for you for your research observe some quiet time you know why you work hard take a break work hard take a break how sometimes projects international projects when we do after 3 or 4 months of time because for international projects we have to submit on 31st december is the last date means we have to submit on 30th night because that will be reaching one day before and 4 months 5 months you work 18 hours and there were instances i would like to say when i did in grade i developed spondylitis i take i had to take two months bed rest when i india's first open university project done by me by the commonwealth of learning that was for three months almost 18 hours i had to work i am telling you 18 hours because that was the deadline we have to submit what happens i had to take spondylitis because system work and all that okay moreover we are not that strong in using system those days those days distinguish capitalize in your committed time capital capitalize in, in your committed time if you committed time means prepare an academic calendar day wise schedule if you devote two hours on a day for research that is committed time capitalize on that don't waste a single minute distinguish between what is urgent what is important 
what is urgent and prioritization do one shot handling one shot handling means if you want to submit the minor research project proposal by this uh, what is today thursday by this saturday evening you must sit through and finish it one 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 shot handling is that so it means that you must do all the three days to come it must agitate you you must become obsessed you must become obsessed agitate within yourself do redo write rewrite draft redraft until your proposal comes to the your level of satisfaction don't give it up in between right learn to say no don't hesitate to say no if you are not convinced if it is not if your time does not permit i mean if your time is not available for others say honorably there is a way to courteously say no to quote fred datcher i quote fred datcher time has no value before it is used or after it has been wasted time has no value before it is used or after it has been wasted unquote so friends my sincere advice is to devote your time have total commitment take the help of peers take the help of your supervisor take the help of other teachers who are strong dedicate yourself to the task complete it set a timeline it should not be more than 3 years you can complete it my friend complete it because i can give my example it will become self boasting <coughs> i was a teacher fellow in usmania i was having fellowship for 4 years i submitted my thesis in 2 years 8 months <laughs> and i was a doctorate when i was 27 plus by then i served 1 year as a teacher applied leave came here as a ugc teacher fellow to usmania and 2 years 8 months i have done my phd total dedication that's it that's it so work hard these are the few words i think i have my experience and my age make me to talk like this and i wish you all the best i congratulate dr sudarani durga kanaka durga and another all the teacher friends for the wonderful event of this organization of uh, this workshop and making it more fruitful to you and take the benefit of it it must not end it must not end with output but it must get outcome differentiate between the two it must not end with output only it must end with outcome okay it means it must have impact in the future endeavor as well not only getting phd subsequently it must be useful this the, the the inputs that you received must be useful to do better in in, in your entire career so wish you all the best and i am grateful once again to all the organizers thank you so much very kind of you we have grown up observing professor venkaya garu professor v s prasad garu so i used to have a pa fascination that you know we must become like them when we joined as students i just submitted my mphil and joined in ambedkar open university i looked towards them as our uh, mentors guides and philosophers they don't uh, they don't know about this but we silently observed sir and v s prasad sir whenever they come for the meeting they come prepared and up to the context this uh, only two of them i have seen in my life in this university like any other outside places also uh, i never said in front of sir i didn't, didn't had the courage to say in front of them <laughs> but today i am expressing this uh, still i feel like a student listening to him that much uh, respect we have towards our elders they have shown us the uh, shown us the way to proceed Uh, with their hard works today is uh, as an example
to pursue research and with their humility and very uh, like you no know, down to like he can talk to certain can talk to the tender sweeper as well as with the uh, vice chancellor in the same manner same pleasing very affectionate tone so this was our guiding force like you know this these qualities we have uh, developed throughout our career and uh, in another two years i am also uh, getting my superannuation but still i i carry this throughout uh, the end of my life so this is what the qualities which a patient researcher should have more patience that's what rashika said yesterday you should be patient enough to uh, pursue your research and passionate enough to uh, complete the task a research is a passionate uh, thing which we have been trained in our uh, student days in jawaharlal nehru university uh, professor panika used to tell us that you know if you ha don't have any interest please quit the research you don't have to waste your time your parents resources as well as our time which is very precious and very beautifully summarized by professor venkai gare about the time it does it doesn't it doesn't have any value before it is used and if it is wasted if you utilize very meticulously judiciously then only it will come to our rescue still my daughter says that you know what you are reading amma you are getting retirement in 2 years like you know every time you go for a meeting you take out the books and you know uh, take out the notes and carry to the meetings not only here to outside like you know i keep going to some um, other meetings like you know and social uh, work and all so i feel that you know a good teacher is a good student also they should know how to um, study and render the best the every time a fresh addition to the thoughts which we speak though i talk about baba saheb ambedkar every time i search for something which is not i have to i have not spoken earlier some new thing because it's a ocean about his thought and philosophy so similar way uh, two inspiring uh, uh, messages which i want you to i'm not be here as a pres presidential uh, address or like a um, person who is i am again saying i am a liaison between you and the university about the research aspects because scholars and faculty are my strength i am answerable for the research kind of projects and papers you produce and uh, the task of you know completing your research um, mphil phd your deans will take care fine but the research ecosystem has to be established in this university which is there earlier also but um, i'm afraid uh, like you know i don't hesitate in saying that the output outcome i'm not talking at least the output is also very less the kind of thesis uh, 2009 and 10 it's less than 10% those who have submitted sir mphil and phd in social sciences and uh, some other uh, faculties i now 18 19 at least like you know half of them are inactive most of them we have said that you know fine like you know up till now you didn't discuss anything you better discontinue so they have discontinued and 2021 i don't want this to happen please take it seriously as an academic i'm saying not as a grcrd director because research opportunities are given to you it's very 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 you know the less seats are there faculty is less only one or two persons professors and uh, assistant professors and the limited uh, number is also there you know pretty well out of hundreds and uh, hundreds you only 10 will be selected and you are the fortunate among those please utilize this submit within the time frame and uh, and outcome is more important not just a output so publish publish more and uh, even the support also sudhakar reddy sir extended to you earlier also uh, on the first day of the workshop please avail those uh, we'll encourage our scholars as well as our faculty members to come up with ideas so that you know we'll pursue this i'm here to pursue this matter with the funding agencies